Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Bugs, and I got some major Rumbleverse news before the playtest happens this Saturday. And let's get straight into the video, guys. Guys, we're gonna slowly walk into this because there, it's already a big, not say red flag, but it's gonna probably hit a nerve for a lot of people. But the game is still amazing, and let's just get straight into it. So, the first thing, um, if you weren't there for the the what is it, the stream? There's a stream pretty much of the dev talking about the game a little bit early and giving us details about what's in the game already and what they've been doing. So let's go straight into that. So, the first thing that um they pretty much talked about that was I think new. Cause that's what I'm going to talk about is the new stuff, I'm not going to talk about the already known stuff about the game, but pretty much is that emotes. Emotes can build um, Superstar, and if you do emotes in dangerous areas, for example, if you see people fighting and you like get really close to them or to a certain distance and you emote, the longer you do your emote like committing, the more that your Superstar builds up, which is crazy. And I think that's more of like for a taunting feature, which I think is very cool and very unique that they added because I don't think that was a thing before and if it was and that's something that we all probably missed out on ah uh, so here we're already going to the first um big major thing that kind of made me look away from the game I'm still gonna enjoy the game I'm still gonna play the game and stream it and all that stuff but looking more into like the longevity of this game kind of downsided on this and that is that there is no rank guys there is no rank and also there is no esports but they are still looking into it as in if the players do want it and they do see a lot of TOs trying to run events and tournaments then they're all for it and they're all for helping it as in like custom lobbies and spectating and all that stuff and that walks us into our another <laughs> topic which is there is no confirmed um, custom lobbies right now so right now when the game like fully re releases it on you know whatever date it's just gonna be straight pubs there's nothing else it's gonna be solos and duos that's confirmed sadly there will not be no duels in the playtest but it is confirmed that there will be duels when the game is fully out guys so it's good to know that's good to hear um improved um ui so and stat stuff so what i'm talking about is like their uis on like explaining when stuff happens got better for example i'm pretty sure you know when you did the same moves to the same um the same you know opponent at the same time or you know around the same time um, it will clash and what clashing was was doing the same input and you know had the same priority so it just clashes and stuff and another tip on that you actually build superstar um, when you do that and if you don't know what superstar is i'm gonna throw that in there is your ultimate in this game pretty much you know when you have the the spotlight above you and stuff but yeah you actually build that from when you do clashes um but another thing that it did is, is that they um implemented stuff that kind of tells you what beat it so for example if you do a normal attack and i do a super attack then i think it'll say like super crush i believe is the term he used but pretty much something to tell you that i did a better priority move than you and that's the reason why you lost so you're not so you don't feel too lost you know like versus how when you first played it you kind of just had to like learn and re remember what beats what and stuff for example you know i'm gonna post it on my screen real quick i did a video kind of explaining um you know what beats what and what priority ties what other moves and stuff so you can check that video to kind of get an idea but yeah it's going to be like a easier way to know what move they moves that they did and why you got beaten so i think that's pretty cool um next thing they did and i guess they improved was the whole stat building so if you don't know there's stats in this game where it comes to strengthening speed and and health and you could increase the stats by 10 percent or 10 percent. there are 10 spots for it so you have 10 spots um in your build and i'm pretty sure like it's 10 percent every time you upgrade something and you have a maximum of 10 so you know you can do builds of double fives and you know have zero and one stat you can have five and one stat three and another and two and another stat but pretty much you know it's three three perk slots or three i don't even know how to really call it but you know what i mean and then you know you have 10 points that you can put them into um, but what's cool about this is that he confirmed is that once you get to five, so I, like I use the example, um, attacking, attacking the, um, boost damage um, is 10% all the way until you hit five. When you get that five perk, um, I think it's 20%. And then after that, it's go back to 10%, you know, six, seven, eight, nine. And then on your final one, if you do 10 attacking, your last boost is going to be 25%. So builds in this game is actually going to be crazy and gnarly. Same thing with healing. He said for health, you know, if you go all the way for, for all health build, I think you get up to as much as 2150 
health, which is ridiculous. That means you can take as massive damage as you want and stuff. But, you know, it's all depending on how you want to play the game and how you want to have your build set. Do you want to be a tank that could take a lot of damage? Do you want to be a super hitter that dominates? Or do you want to be a person that has crazy stamina that can always run and do crazy, you know, move sets and all that stuff, which is, you know, I think a fun thing to do. And a thing that they prioritized a lot in the stream was have fun in your own way. So, for example, <clears throat> for my esports people or for my competitive people, like I said, the window for that isn't out the way. But right now, their mindset is just to have fun. They don't really want you to be dedicated or committed to anything. They just want everyone to just enjoy the game, which I don't think is a problem. But, you know, if you if you know me, you've been watching me or watching my streams, you would know that, in my opinion, over time, stuff like that you know, kind of gets boring but that's not what we're talking about here i just want to throw that in there but yeah um next thing is what i said before was the duos duos is 100 percent gonna be a thing it doesn't look like they backed away from it even though for three tests in a row that we still haven't been able to play duos i don't want to confirm this and to get your hopes up but i'm pretty sure they said something about um or he said something about that there's gonna be cool duo move sets so that'd be cool but don't Take that with a soul green because I don't fully remember, but it's in my notes when I wrote it. So I think he did. So apologies if I don't. And finally, for the store and stuff, there's going to be rotating stories just like how Fortnite does with their daily shops. You know, for people that want to know that. And then for the battle passes and stuff, you know, that's going to be a thing. And um, there wasn't a number of how many items are going to be for the battle pass. But <clears throat> I can confirm that there is going to be like eight to nine customizations if you don't know for this game. For example, you could buy one suit. Like one item, I guess, in the game is gonna have like different, like eight slots, like for your head, your torso, your legs, your your forearm, you know, padding, your headband, and all that stuff, your helmet, all that stuff, and you don't have to commit to one thing. You know, you could change up all eight items or nine items, so you know you're always changing and looking different. You know, every time you play, which I think is pretty cool and pretty amazing. And I think that's all the news that I have. Obviously, we're gonna get more when we actually play the game and learn the new stuff that they added and all that stuff. But as of right now, this is all I got from that live stream that they did. It was about an hour long, which is pretty cool and amazing that they did that before the um, playtest happened. So, you know, we could kind of get an idea of what they added. Again, I hope there's a little bit more. You know, I think I think this is solid, but this is more like kind of debunking a lot of stuff more than telling us, hey, this is new and this is that. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens Saturday, guys. And if you don't know. I'll be doing a 24 hour stream on that. We'll be grinding the hell out of it. Also, so I can have more content for y'all. So y'all can watch it. Cause if you don't know, I've been, you know, uploading Rumbleverse gameplay. If you if you don't know, it's gonna be at the end of this video. And if you can look through my channels, you're gonna see a whole bunch of videos of that. And that's it for the video, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment by anything. You know, I love y'all comments. Comments some things that you wanna see that they should add in the game or if you're disappointed or anything, man, you know, I like I said, I love y'all comments. I love talking to back to y'all, um, the community and everything. And it's your first time ever watching one of my videos and you love Rumbleverse content. Hit the subscribe button, guys. That's what I post here. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Yeah, she got a man. She don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA because she want to be famous. Got another five on the side. She a waitress. But it's getting tough. Hard to find